Here I'm showing you a nice little extension from Scape for Genially to keep your page tidy by having menus that appear on the sides of your page. So what it looks like is this, I'll show you. So in this case, there are three things on the side here. There is an actual menu that takes you to different pages. Um, you can also have just pictures coming out at the side. So this is really useful. You can have it on the left hand side, you can have it at the top, right or bottom. So there are different templates for this because you need to use different function for each each one depending where it comes from. Also you can only have a maximum of three different ones on each page. So you, you can have three from the bottom, three from the side, three from the top, but you can't have four from the bottom for example. Um, another great thing is that you can combine it with another extension called block note which allows you to take notes. So for example here um, I've already written down some notes namely JHJ that's something I've written down on another, another page and it has remembered it so now when I get to my final lock in my escape room I can look up which code I need. Obviously this one is letter so it doesn't quite work but normally they could use this during the whole escape room um, because a block note will remember your notes from one page to the next. But for that you can watch the block note tutorial. Okay, so how you use um, store, it's really easy. So you need to decide, you need left, top, bottom and so on. Uh, let's say we want to create a right hand menu. Um, so you can maybe see that these different functions here, these little code buttons, have different letters. So we've got menu A and button A, menu B, button B and so on. So obviously they go together. So everything that's with A will be controlled by button A. So I can copy and paste this several times. So if I want several things to, to appear at the same time, I can have several a menus here and they're all controlled by button A. So when I click this button all of them will come out. So I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go to an empty page. We'll add them. Uh, they need to be grouped with um, pictures or words. So let's say I want my three objects here to come into the page. Okay, so we've got three random things. So I need each one needs to be grouped with the menu A. So I just highlight them both together and go with A uh, and then group them. And then I also need a button. So I could just use a little icon here, for example. So let's go with this. And then I show you what it looks like. So Oh no, I've forgotten. You also need a yellow box. So let's get that from here. So we need this function. It will be invisible, but it needs to be on the page. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay, so now if I click on here, all three items will appear at the same time. And it will decide itself how far to go inwards. So it will always go in as much so that you can see the full picture. You could have them overlapping, so they could already be halfway in the page and just come in a little bit, like in this case. Or they can be completely hidden like the pick at the top there. If you have a menu like this one here, you might think, well, can I not just group the whole thing with just one menu A uh, function? The problem with that is that you can't then add links to it, because obviously here we want page two to have a link to go to page two and page three to go to page three. But if they're all grouped together, you can only add one link to the whole thing. So that's why they each need to be grouped individually. But uh, once you use it, you can't really tell because they will all appear at the same time. So they will all move inwards at the same time as if they are grouped into one object. To add this to any of your slides, just download this template, use the blue slides here 
I've also added the one for block node because it's a nice combination. So to use block node as well, you need um, these three elements, really the function, the text box, the size. These are the minimums you need. Um, so let's say I wanted to add this to my phone. Just put this here. So um, I add my text box. For that, I would need another menu A button. So just take this one and duplicate it. So the reason for that is because I can't group this text box with the phone, otherwise it doesn't really work anymore. So I group this together individually. I need to have the function somewhere in my page the size, in this case, maybe I'm making the letters a bit smaller, so turn it down to 10. And now I just put this text box on top of my phone, but don't group them together. And the whole thing, I move out of the page. So now when I press my button here, my phone comes out and I can start typing there. It's very small now, but it does work. Just make sure that the text box is always the top layer. And then I can put it away and get it back out again and the text is still there. And even if I go to the next page and come back to this page, the text would still be there as well.